Hey, hey, everybody. Welcome back to a new episode of Clone Evolution. God, was yesterday's episode fucking wild or what? Man, oh man. Alright, well, I'll get to collecting some things but before we get into a battle. I did some work while you guys were gone. I set up some, uh, some contact information to organize a guest for, I think, this weekend. So we should have a guest on the show this weekend, if I can manage to get everything working technically wise. Got the guest, they want to come on the show, they're going to talk and I'll give you a clue to who the guest is. No, I don't think they're in our guild, but it's someone from uh, one of the competitors from the Hunger Games. So. I'll leave it at that, but yeah, that's the big guest that we got coming up on the weekend. I don't know how the show's going to work. Maybe they'll have the game booted. I'll have the game booted, and we'll switch back and forth through the show, talking. We'll see how it goes. We'll try a few formats out, maybe, and see what works best. Uh, let's, let's give a few tries for hit, though. We need Das Hitler. <laughs> ah, Schweinhund! <laughs> if anyone's wondering, that's pig dog. No! Fuck! 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 Oh my god! I meant to click the back arrow and I clicked refresh. You son of a fuck whore game. You fucker. Oh, I fucking hate this game. I begged them, put a lock button on the fucking casino. Will they? No, you fuckers. Man, thank God I have a beer here ready. Piece of shit. I meant to press the fucking red arrow. The one right next to it. Oh my god. You know, that really pisses me off. What a piece of shit game, man. Fucking game designers, you should be fucking ashamed of yourselves. You see this fucking tavern button? Look, it's got a fucking lock button. Put one of those on the fucking casino, you sons of bitches. Fuckers. Man, oh man. Hey, what's up? No, sorry man, it doesn't really matter. That just, that really pisses me off because that's happened twice now. All I wanted to do is move the mouse over, hit the red button. What happened? I clicked a second too soon by accident. Fucks the whole game. Piece of trash. Why they don't put a fucking lock button in there? Oh my god. Alright. Sorry, I'll try to cheer up. That really pisses me off, though. Actually, lately I don't even really care. There's so much crazy shit going on in the world. It doesn't really matter just pressing a fucking button wrong, but really, the game is fucking retarded. It has nothing to do with me. And I mean retarded in a good way. Alright, I'll send some flowers to Suki. That always cheers me up. Ah, there we go. A little better. Now, at least today is not all bad news. I get to select three purples. Hopefully one of them's Hitler and then I don't even need that fucking Hitler. Can keep it. Piece of shit game. <laughs> now it's so funny because I think it was my mouse, right? It's like it's my mouse hasn't been working the greatest lately. I don't know. I keep changing the battery. So I'm fucking clicking twice for it to fucking work. And I just clicked once before on something else. So I was moving the mouse and I clicked again because I was double clicking. 
and it just happened to skim the fucking refresh button on the way to that top corner. Fuck a piece of garbage. See? It's like I clicked here, double clicked, it didn't work. So when I was double clicking, I was still dragging across on my way to up to there. Hit the fucking refresh button. Man. Oh well. Good news is I managed to get the bounty hunter event done earlier today. So I got that extra round in. Maybe we'll, uh, I don't want to start. Can you believe they gave me absolute garbage again for this? Fucking pieces of shit. Alright, finally we got some good ones. Hey, we're Zard the Board Time Lord. Don't worry, we had one bad run today, but after all yesterday's good luck, I think I was overdue for some bad luck. Really, that was my own mistake. I should have opened the beer sooner. And then I could have blamed the beer. <laughs> You bad beer, you're ruining me in the future with your time travel. Fuck you. <laughs> yeah, seeing the game gave us some new events. So that was the good part. Nah, who wanted Hitler anyways? I was actually looking through my inventory to see who I needed the second Hitler for. I couldn't even find out who it was. So that's good. Just fucking turn it. I don't even need him. Fuck him. Who needs the pieces of shit? Maybe I'll just use some diamonds and refresh it till Hitler's on it again. Fucking piece of garbage. Yeah, I think it was part of the Lou Boo, right? I've already got one Hitler. So whoever was the second one, who cares? Oh yeah, it was Darius. So the second Hitler will just have to wait. The only kind of shitty part is how many of the other items I had. It's like I had every other item on that fucking wheel except for Hitler and he was coming up any spin now. But oh well. I'm in no rush. Who knows, I'll probably be playing this game for 20 years so I got lots of time. Yeah, so what's new with you guys? Anything? What day is it today? We're getting close to the weekend again? Yeah, today's Thursday. Getting closer. Weekend! Yeah, Thursday. Thursday's where it's at. Remember late night Thursday parties at the bar? Or it's like Friday? People pretended it was Friday. But it was Thursday. I miss those parties. You go to work so hungover, you can barely even move. Good old Thursday. <laughs> oh, you did your final exams. Congratulations. Yeah, hopefully you can manage to pass, right? Hopefully you didn't spend too much time playing Clone Evolution. <laughs> I 
No, I'm sure you guys did fine. School these days, they just give out the certificates. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Hey, what's up? Pepe the Frog is back. He's doing the dishes. <laughs> Holy Christmas vacation forever, eh? January. Yeah, congratulations on the vacation. Who doesn't love a good vacation? Yeah, for me it's been like a three year. Because I had my concussion, what was it, in, in uh, 2018. Then I spent the next two years recovering, and I only had one month back to normal before all of a sudden the pandemic started. So I was like, fuck. One month of normal life in the past three years. <laughs> hey, Suki made it. Welcome back, Suki. Thank God you're here to cheer me up. <laughs> You'll never guess what happened while you were gone. <laughs> I'll give you a clue. It was a disaster. <laughs> no, it wasn't that bad. You know, when I was clicking the casino button, I was moving the mouse towards the red arrow in the top left to click back, and I fucking clicked it too soon and hit the refresh button. So now I have to do all that work to get Hitler again. <laughs> I was like, no! <laughs> yeah, I figured after all of yesterday's good luck, I was overdue for a little bit of bad luck. So life goes, fucking roller coaster up and downs. <laughs> yeah, I figure it's not the end of the world. At least I didn't lose another crime fighter or something. Yeah, I gotta burn those three purples today's episode. So we'll see how that goes. Maybe I'll get a little bit of luck back. Hopefully I'll get Hitler and I won't even need him at the casino anymore. Holy 23 tokens. That was a good roll. Let's try that again. I don't know, I'm just sort of tanking as many tokens as I can off of this. If I happen to win anything, that's great. Uh, it turned out we did end up getting snow last night, so I had to work at 6 in the morning. It was pretty good though. Shift wasn't too long. I think it was 4 or 5 hours. So I was able to have a nap after work. No, it's nice. If we keep getting lots of snow, at least I can make some money finally before Christmas. Uh, snow shoveling is a bit dangerous work, but at least it's somewhat fun. Holy shit, we're at four likes. Thanks, everybody. All right, let's do some warp gate. Now, I like walking around outside in the winter, and just because I have to push a snowblower with me, it's not that bad. It's almost like getting paid to go for walks. I 
The only time it's bad is when it's fucking slush and ice storms. Those fucking suck. <laughs> Those days I want to just call in sick. Hey, Ray Mark, welcome back to the show, mate. Oh, we had an exciting beginning to the show, made one big mistake, but hopefully I'll try to rectify some of it by the end of the episode. I was clicking on the casino, and I accidentally hit the refresh button, so now I'll have to try to get Hitler all over again. It was funny too, I was like, man, I was just about to open my beer, but then I did the casino first. I was like, fuck, I wish I would have opened the beer first. I could have blamed being drunk. <laughs> it was the booze, damn it. Just because I didn't drink it yet. Didn't have anything to do with it. Yeah, it's not the end of the world. I think the, the show was overdue for a good meltdown. Lately, I've had my emotions in control way too much. <laughs> hey, all right, five likes. Thanks, everybody. Now, today I had some good news on the vlogging front. Some of my new vlogging gear arrived. Well, I'll get it some other time. And I was digging through storage. I found some of my old Pokemon tapes. What is it? Pokemon Psychic Surprise. The only shitty thing is it's on VHS. So there's no way I'm really going to be able to play this. I don't think I have a VCR anymore. But I guess I could just download it, look at the tape. <laughs> Deal. Yeah, let's check the deal. Nah, I don't like that deal. Let's just rob him. Yeah, it's 1997, so that makes it pretty old, huh? Exclusively distributed by Pioneer. 1997-98 Nintendo. Game Freak. Tokyo Show Pro. Yeah, I don't know how many other ones I got like that kicking around in storage somewhere. Oh yeah, I got three GoPros, except they're the uh, artificial, or not artificial, knockoff GoPros, or cheaper equivalents made by other companies. So far so good, they look good. That footage I had of my biking is from one uh, one of the cameras. Well, I've got two of the same camera, so that's why I said one of the cameras. Yeah, that's a pretty good deal, but I don't think I have enough. Oh, I do. Yeah, I didn't find any of my old anime catalogs. That's the one I was really looking for. I think I had it on my dresser like two or three years ago. I'll have to try to find it. I wanted to show all the viewers what anime was popular when I was like a teenager. <laughs> so like a couple years ago. <laughs> Yeah, Dragon Ball Z was more my 20s, I think. Yeah, so when I was, uh, I don't even remember. Ranma one half was one of them. I think one of the series, it could have been Gundam, but one of the mech series. I didn't really like it, but I liked the robot, so it's like, all right, I'll watch it just for that. Hmm. 
No, Astro Boy. That was a pretty big popular one. <laughs> All right, 23 tokens. Now, I remember, I don't know if I told you guys this story or if it was another show, but one time I was watching anime at the university and I won one of the 50-50 drafts or raffles and I ended up picking an Astro Boy poster instead of like uh, another prize that was worth I think a hundred or maybe even two hundred dollars but it was like a whole bunch of free movie rentals and I wasn't into movie rentals so I was like fuck I'll never use it so I might as well just pick the Astro Boy poster then afterwards, I was like, fuck, I should have just picked the movie rentals and sold them to someone. Who actually did rent movies. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I did tell you guys about that. Yeah. <laughs> nah, sadly, I missed that friend. He died back in, what was it, 2007 or something. So, shit, been quite a while now. No, we had a lot of good times together. A lot of wild parties. Alright, treasure or elite? Let's go with treasure. Now, I've seen every episode of Astro Boy, but man, I can't remember much of it. Remember it was like some robot stuck on a planet, wasn't it? Or on a moon? <laughs> oh yeah, his feet had rockets. That's what it was. Yeah, I can't believe that 50-50 thing. That's happened to me twice now. Where I told someone else they'd have to claim it if I want it, and then I won it and made them claim it. At least the second time around, I let them pick whatever prize they wanted. <laughs> I think that's how it worked. <laughs> now, if anyone's wondering what the 50-50 trick I used... You just try to buy the ticket last if you can. Seems like last, I don't know what it is, but it tends to have the best finish. Uh, that was the year I joined the Dart League, and they had a 50-50 draw, so I joked that I was going to try that trick of buying the tickets last. I think it worked three weeks in a row. People at the league got so mad, they were going to tell me to stop buying tickets, or at least at a different time. <laughs> They're like, man, some people have played this league for their whole life and never won the 50-50 draw once. How the hell did I win it three times? <laughs> I was getting so used to winning it, I was almost felt bad if I didn't win it. <laughs> See, that's why in life I shouldn't always be complaining that I never get good luck. Sometimes I do. It's so easy to focus on the bad luck, like fucking picking that goddamn refresh button. <laughs> that wasn't really luck, that was more stupidity. Idiot! <laughs> Alright, so I figure we'll do the, the three purples after the break, or message from the sponsor. 
And what time will be that be? Oh, just another five minutes. So who will be the purples? Hopefully it will be, uh, what's his name? The wrestling guy. All right, we're plowing off these pretty quick. We should maybe do a couple more. Yeah, that wasn't so bad. Just reminiscing on winning those 50-50 draws. And then I guess at least the advantage here. So maybe the next hero that comes up will be even better. Can't get too down the dumps. At least I have 978 coins. So soon I'll be able to get anyone I want really. Hey George Washington join the show. Thanks man. Alright, let's do the guild. Wow, what's up only joined in February. Alright, welcome to the game. I'm trying to remember when I joined the game, but I forget. Two purples. Alright, let's hope for a little bit of action here. We won't try anyone in 4 million. A lot of reds, holy fuck. Look at this team, three Budokais. Very weak on the healing. I should be able to take him if I could go first. If I can't go first, then I'm fucked. Alright, let's not play that team. I've already been swearing enough today. Let's try Pep too. Pep too bismol. Right. Oh yeah, there's a Samson. Sometimes I like to switch it up with lightning. Because I don't even have Symphony in there right now. Well yeah, while well, you guys were gone. I boosted up uh, Tengu's levels. He's up to 168 now. So he's definitely plowing through some people that he was having difficulty with before. Oh fuck, I went overkill on the healing here. I should have brought in Symphony. Oh, well, this extra healing might be what I needed. Holy. Yeah, it looks like I did need it. Holy, I just can't kill anyone. What a marathon battle. You guys think I stand a chance in this? I think the poison's getting to me. Yeah. 
Yeah, back to full. All right, now we took some people out. Yeah, so how did everyone else do on the big clone event? Did everyone get the heroes they were trying to get? Anyone have luck with that new wizard? Fuck, there goes one of my heroes. Alright, we're in the lead. It's just Harsh Assassin now. I don't think she has what it takes to defeat us. Oh yeah, she's done. Yeah, I was thinking the game seemed a little bit stingy well, when it comes to that wizard. Everything else they were pretty good with. Holy five likes. Cheers, everyone. Thanks. The beer loves you. <laughs> Almost as much as I love the beer. It's funny, because normally I don't like beer. Maybe it's the price of this beer makes me like it more, but it's good. The next red might be the strongest. Let's hope. Oh, fuck. There went a Budokai. That wasn't good. That's what I refer to as, holy fuck, we're screwed. I'm not in a good way. My only hope is that Tengu is still strong, that he could defeat them on their own. If there's enough rounds to continue. No! Second Budokai died? You gotta be fucking kidding me. How'd we go a whole round or stage without any of them dying? Then they both die in this one. What kind of garbage. Garbage. So what? I gotta skip. It's gonna be a loss. Fuck. Son of a... <laughs> Alright, see what we can do. Play an even easier team. One less point. Alright, so how do I make Alice? I'll have to check that out. What kind of selfie are we talking about here? <laughs> Come on, game. I need a victory here. No! Both bulls finished already. If I pack two new ones. Yeah. I'm starting to wonder who it is that they're going to give us. There should be an okay chance for Hitler because one of those is the Chaos Purples.
I'm gonna have to make a new rule for myself. Every time I play that casino, I'm gonna have to be extra careful. I'm really getting sick of fucking that up. The game must love it. <laughs> All right. Oh, finally. Oh, there's still a tombstone. Thought we had the victory. <laughs> All right. So let's do this. Let's go check out what we need to make Alice. Oh, the fucking game crashed. Why am I not surprised? <laughs> Alright, one thing we can do. I think we can check out the Bitcoin Casino. And I got a couple other slides ready. I actually got some pretty exciting news from the Bitcoin Casino. Yeah, hopefully the game will reload shortly. Hey, it's perfect timing. Bitcoin Casino is just about to reboot. Alright, so for the Bitcoin Casino, if you really want some good luck, try clicking on this Wheel of Fortune thing. When you click that, it opens up a, another page saying click this button to get the Wheel of Fortune signed up. So once you sign up to the Wheel of Fortune, it'll start sending you the tickets in your email and I'll load up one of the results to show you what it looks like but for now I better go back to this screen just to make sure no boobs open this is a live stream <laughs> who am I kidding boobs are still gonna open <laughs> alright let's see alright it, it opened on the correct screen wonderful Right, so some things are working today. Fucking miracle. Right, so let's check out what the wheel looks like for that wheel of fortune once you sign up to it. And once you go to it, all you have to do is go to your email, check it, and then click it, and it'll bring you to the wheel. It'll have a ticket, and it'll say, use this ticket. So then you click it in your email, and it brings you to this wheel. So anyways, yeah, here's the wheel. Look at some of the tickets or the prizes on here. Now obviously you can't win the Lamborghini, but you can win the lottery tickets to get in the draw for it. So technically you could have a chance at winning. And this one's five Lamborghini tickets, that one's 50, that one's one. You can win that new iPhone. I don't know if it's the same one Suki has. Looks kind of familiar. And then there's uh, Bitcoins that you can win that's one of the prizes I won and they gave me 50 Satoshi so I was like wow 50 Satoshi is pretty good for one spin and you can win 50 reward points I've hit that one once you can win more lottery tickets I won 50 lottery tickets the one spin you can win up to 5,000 lottery tickets holy shit that'd be sick oh yeah and then that Rolex watch is around 10 grand so if you spin the wheel, you have a chance at winning that Rolex. If anyone's wondering how many times can you spin the wheel, it's how many times you open that email. So sometimes they send it a few times each week. I think one time I got to spin it two days in a row. But today they didn't send one. So hopefully tomorrow they do. I'm hoping. Yeah, so I, I love this new Wheel of Fortune game. It's pretty sick. Um... Let me go back to Clone Evolution, then I'll try changing this image. There it is. Alright, we'll go check it out. Now the good news, Clone Evolution looks like it only has a few seconds left till it loads. Yeah, so here's one proof of one of the wins that I got. They gave me, uh, what is it, 50 lottery tickets. So I'll give you an update, but the lottery is pretty hard to win, obviously. 
50 tickets is nice though. Every time you do a, a spin or free spin each hour, I think you get two tickets. So getting 50 at once, that's like a whole bunch of days of tickets. Even a month of tickets. Yeah, I'll keep everyone updated on the Wheel of Fortune spins. And everyone else who's doing the free Bitcoin, let me know. If you guys get any cool Wheel of Fortune spins, what the results are. And another one of my uh, referrals, he was telling me he did the spins and he won, what was it, 50 Satoshi also. So I think he's only done one spin so far. I'll ask him how he does on his second spin. All right, welcome back to the game, everyone. And it looks like it's just about to load any second. We got Jeshua. All right, welcome back to the game. Caputu, welcome back to the game. I think Warzard the Board Time Lord was already here. Well, I'll give him a shout out just in case. And we got the main agenda. All right, so we're back. I'm trying to figure out how to make Alice. Oh, fuck, I could have done the Spencer sponsor message while we were gone. Fuck. Idiot. <laughs> Oh, Alice. <whistles> Alright, so how am I going to do this? Let's go to the Darwin Evolution Center. I think we're still a fucking wrestling hero away. God, game, give me a wrestling hero. Alright, let's, let's check. Um... Uh, We need him gold. Her already have gold. Her will have gold. So I just need him gold. Do I have him gold already? That'd be sweet. I don't believe I do, but I'll check just to be sure. Yeah, I'm pretty positive I don't. Fuck. Alright, so I gotta turn the wheelchair kid gold. What do I need to make him? Let's check. This will be the moment of truth. We need her. Got her. I've got her. Fuck, do we got any extra of him in storage? No! Fuck, I wish we had an extra one of him in storage. Alright, so if we can loot him, we'll be in business. Let's check the, the store just to see if there's any of him in the store. Fuck, there is too. So all we need is one copy of him. If we can loot him, holy shit, we've done it. We'll have Alice. Fucking unreal. All right. Yeah, I wish I had fragments of him. I was thinking I did, but I'm pretty sure I used him for a transformation already. Fucking sucks balls. Not in a good way. Man. Alright, so it's not all doom and gloom. We got the three pulls. There's a chance one of them is good. It could be the wheelchair guy. If it is, then I'll use the Vibram store, buy him, boom. Then it'll be amazing luck. It'll be the ultimate turnaround. Go from shit of missing Hitler to hitting the kid in the wheelchair. <laughs> Alright, I don't know what I'm talking about, but let's get this sponsor message in. All right, let's do it. Today's Screwing Hitler was brought to you by Crack. Crack. It'll fuck you up. Jeez, I was drawing a complete brain fart there about who it was that I was talking about. <laughs> 
Hey, Vector, welcome back to the show. Hey, Player XD. Why do I play this game? It's because I used to like, uh, what is it, Final Fantasy, the turn-based tactics games where you had two teams of people, like five people fighting each other back and forth, picking spells and magic. So I was pretty much drawn to this game because it reminds me a lot of that. All right, so let's end the casino part. I like that. I like all these puzzle fragments, drawing it, the leveling up system with the robots. It's all pretty addictive. All right, so yeah, let's let's give the three purples a try. I'll close other windows to try to maximize some resources here. Maximize resources. Oh fuck, that was close. But yeah, you know what I forgot to do? Let's do it quick before we do these purples. I was telling you guys about the Bitcoin and never even hit spin. Yeah. Alright, so we got 141, 231. Let's give it a roll. 141, 240. Sweet. Alright, let's get back and do these purples. God, no further delays. Who are these purples? Oh, another crime fighter. It's like crime fighter city for me lately, eh? It's not complete shit. I was gonna bitch that it's not a wrestler, but hey, crime fighter's good, so I shouldn't bitch. Uh, let's give it another go. Holy fuck. It's like Hanzo City for sure, man. They keep loading me with Hanzos. Which is good, I'll be able to make more gold Hanzos. Right, so last moment of truth. Yeah, cheers Vector. Moment of truth, let's see who we get here. The big fucking, the big time. Woo. Hopefully it's good. No, not Peace Man. Yeah. I was not looking forward to getting Peace Man, but hey. At least we got some good. Do you like Peace Man? He is a good ingredient, but the only thing I don't like about him is I already have him on the board. So I can just charge up and get him. Or save up. But I guess that's still pretty good. Alright, I think I did save up enough heroes to make a transformation for today's episode. So we'll do part of it. Such a tease. Almost did enough to get a selfie from Suki. Damn you, kid. Where are you when I need you? <laughs> Alright, let's do this one. See? Now I got two of them. <laughs> And while you guys were gone, made a few extra of these. So, that was a little surprise for you guys. Didn't have to go through the hell of making all those guys. Now, I got some advice from the guest that's going to be on the show this weekend. He was giving me some clues on how to make more of these star heroes without wasting too much. Hopefully, his advice doesn't backfire. So far, it works good. Right. Gold goddess of the moon. I'm gonna try to get into making thumbnails again. Sorry guys, I was getting so lazy not making the new thumbnails each time. But the show is consuming a lot of my day, so I was trying to get a little bit of it back just for a break. Reuse the same one. Yeah, so that's one step. So that's one step to Alice complete. So we've got her. Now all we need is her. And we've got her. Yeah, so hopefully I can get this one soon. God, soon. I should almost buy it from the Vibram store before it expires, just in case I have no other chance to get him. 
Or is there any other events that he's a prize for right now? That'd be sweet. No, it's not a prize here. No. No, so no other way to get him right now. Who's the new hero? Goddess. There it is. The goddess is my new hero. Alright, so Suki's got a good idea for now. I should put her in the DNA. Alright, the roses from Suki. Thanks a million, Suki. Alright, let's do some claiming. Now I was just scanning through my team to see what kind of heroes I got for making up another gold. And check out some of the heroes that I have three of. So we got three Wright Brothers. That's good. We got, I think, four Dariuses. Maybe even more. We got another arena girl. I made a good collection of Bin Laden's because I find he's highly sought after. Oh yeah, and I have two Robins. So I'm only one Robin away from a gold Robin. Which is nice. Two of uh, Uncle Joe. I think I have two of this guy. Or did I use one already? I might have used one. Two of her, two of him. Excuse me. Yeah, so we got a couple more crime fighters. Might save him for ingredients. I think he's a good ingredient, isn't he? Yeah, two Catholic heroes. So I'm getting close to a gold Catholic hero again. I've got two Samsons. So I'm one Samson away from a gold Samson again. Three of him. That's a good one to have three of, right? I think we're at two of her. Unless I have one of her. In, oh yeah, I think we do have three of her. Two of him, two of him. Fuck man, that lineup's looking pretty sick. Not to brag or anything, but... The guy that was making fun of my team, he should see that. I think it's doing a bit better now after yesterday and today's episode. I think he was right before. My team was pretty hurting. It's recovered quite a bit. <laughs> Still got a ways to go though. We won't be catching Suki at 400 anytime soon. <laughs> Alright, yeah, I have enough gems. I should be able to add her to DNA. So, let's check her out, see what her abilities are like, just for interest sake. Okay, so a health recovery. Recovers a whole bunch of the attack of three of our units with the highest attack and removes all of their negative effects. Holy shit. If I could end negative effects, that'd be huge. I don't know, like, maybe I'm reading the details on that wrong. At the start of each round, there will be a 50% probability to remove one negative effect from all friendly units. Holy shit, so that is that. So I can keep boosting the probability, removing negative effects. That's wild. Eh, I don't like those death attacks. Normal attacks will see the hero with the lowest HP recover. So that's a tempting one. So surprising, even though to use her for DNA, she's got some pretty good abilities. But Suki's probably right. It's still probably best to use her for DNA. 
All right, so let's check the DNA and see who needs it. What kind is it, son? Yeah. Ooh, Jane Austen needs it. Fuck, everyone probably needs it. Yeah, he needs it too, but I'll give it to Jane Austen, I think, right? Let's see, what does it change? It only increases her hit points, which she doesn't really do much attacking. What does it do for him? Attack also. Hmm. Yeah, I guess Jane Austen does a fair bit attacking. More attack, more heal. Oh, I get your what you're saying. That's good. So, being linked with that will increase it. Only by 1%, but still pretty good. Tempting to star up, but I better not. Alright, so everyone's got some pretty killer DNA at this point. And the one that needs it is Tengu, but I've got some good news. I don't know if it was while you guys were here. No, it was while you guys were gone. I got some more pumpkin fragments. So we're getting damn close to the next pumpkin. So when that pumpkin gold is ready, I'll be moving him up to Tengu's DNA. So Tengu will have a new pumpkin that's gold for finish off all of his DNA in gold. So that'll be a pretty big big upgrade. But yeah, so I got three of this guy. I just noticed that. Let's check out who I need to make him. Oh, fat chili. That's why I haven't made him. As soon as I get some fat chili, we'll be getting some Van Gogh and gold. Van Gold. <laughs> right, so did anyone else see a hero that they'd like me to make? I'm pretty sure that's all the ones that I have parts for that are good. Well, I know I have parts for a couple in there, but I wanted to save some parts. Like, I don't want to make Darius right away, because I'd rather make Lu Bu. And just wait till I get the wrestler. Wrestler is so hard to get. Yeah, that's what I'll do. I'll change the casino and stop it on the wrestler if I can. Alright, so what are we getting close to? The next big one will be the 30. That'll be pretty exciting. Another gold hero. Alright, so let's do a little bit of the dungeon. Man, really didn't do anything today, right? Did I finish off all the bounty missions or not yet either? No. Oh yeah, because it crashed. Like a piece of garbage. <laughs> Holy, seven likes. Thanks everybody. I'm always so amazed by the support I get for this show. 
I would have never imagined. Alright, let's get this speeded up so we can win some shit. Finishing quick is my specialty. No, it really gives me a, bo a boost of motivation for my vlogging series. Because I always was always worried when I start a vlogging series, maybe I won't have enough viewers. I'll make it, no one will watch it. Or if I monetize it, it won't be enough watch time hours for my channel to actually reach monetization. But, since I started the Clone Evolution channel, or content, you guys have really helped me reach the watch time minutes. So I don't really have to worry about that anymore. So when I start the vlogging channel, it's like I've already got a head start. Really, all thanks to you. So I'll try to keep this show going as long as I can. Hopefully we can combine the two. Get the viewers from the vlogging channel to start playing Clone Evolution. <laughs> All right, let's get some more tokens. Who knows, maybe Clone Evolution will always be the most popular show. All right, let's go for some Elite, try to rack up some points. Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. Oh, congratulations. Suki's going camping next weekend. Yeah, just be careful. Isn't there like a million poisonous things in New Zealand? I seem like even in the city they were showing pictures of what gets in people's houses. I was like, oh my god. It's like you're living in a fucking Jurassic Park. <laughs> I guess I'm one to talk. In Canada, we got some pretty crazy shit, too. Lots of wildlife. Fucking beavers might get in. No. <laughs> Hate it when they build a dam right in your fucking bathtub. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> What? There's no poisonous stuff in New Zealand? You gotta be kidding me. You're so lucky. I'm probably just thinking poisonous mushrooms. And those are everywhere. Yeah, I probably am thinking Australia, right? They're the ones that have all that marsupial shit. Yeah, I hope you share some pictures from the camping trip. It'd be neat to see what it looks like there. You share New Zealand and I'll try to share some of Canada once fucking winter's over. <laughs> Maybe I'll try to share some pictures of winter, but just from inside. <laughs> Rob. Oh yeah, we gotta deal with them first. I always forget. It's always my first instinct. See a merchant. Rob them. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Now, New Zealand's got some pretty cool ancient sites. They had one really good Stonehenge at some point. The only sad thing is, is there was a construction, and they ended up relocating the Stonehenge. So I was like, well, that kind of sucks if it's not at the original spot. I 
but apparently there was more than one Stonehenge and some of them are still being kept secret at the location so that no one vandalizes them. To me that always sounds weird. Is there really people going around vandalizing fucking ancient monuments? Like what kind of jackass does that? <laughs> Swear it wasn't me. <laughs> no, I haven't actually been overseas ever, so definitely wasn't me. All right, still some more tokens we can chase. Holy shit, we're over the hour mark already. So we'll do a couple more battles and we'll wrap this up. No, thanks everyone for watching. Hope everyone stays safe. Dear God, camping in a in New Zealand. That still sounds pretty wild. <laughs> yeah, so what can you do on the camping trip? Mountain climbing? Swimming in the ocean, probably. That'd be a while. Now, I'm still hoping to see the ocean once in my lifetime. That'd be sweet. Obviously, I've seen it on TV, but I want to see it in real life. First time camping? Holy shit. <laughs> to me, that almost sounds like a nightmare. It's like, where are you going rock climbing? Oh, just Everest for my first time. <laughs> camping in New Zealand sounds so difficult, but maybe it'll be easy. <laughs> Now camping trips in Canada aren't too bad, depending where you camp. If you camp on our west coast, there's a lot of chances of getting killed because grizzly bears can eat you, the mountain lions, and a uh, bunch of other animals. Oh yeah, and the moose and all those things. They like to stomp on people. Usually you can't take more than one, one or two stomps. Canada's east coast isn't as bad for bears because at least we don't have grizzlies. All right, let's try dealing with them. But I guess New Zealand doesn't have any bears, so they should be okay with that, right? No moose. <laughs> All the campgrounds near me, the most dangerous part is probably... I guess the raccoons would be dangerous. They could attack you if they have rabies. Normally if they don't have rabies, they'll just run up and try to rip food out of your hands. Sometimes bite you. Yeah, I was thinking about that. So many of the people that I know that are into prepping, they're all like, oh, New Zealand is the best place. The only thing I'd be concerned about is I'm pretty sure the Ice Age will hit New Zealand bad, but maybe I could be wrong about that. And the Ice Age might not even be our lifetimes. Let's hope. It'll just be some future generations problem. <laughs> There's more sheeps in New Zealand than people? It's amazing. Now that's the one person I know that does talk shows who lives in New Zealand. He says that it's very less densely populated. Like you don't get stuck in traffic jams as often. Whereas if you go to like my province, you can spend two to three hours a day in traffic jams.
We're like the California of Canada's traffic jams. Alright, I'll just beat both of these because they're four stars and we're getting near the ends of the show. Fuck blue, you gotta be kidding me. I don't need either of that. Let's refresh it. Yes, pumpkin. That was fucking worth it. Oh yeah. Alright, so we'll do this one and then we'll wrap up the show after the pumpkin's complete. We'll make some pumpkin pie. I don't know, have you ever seen the video where the sheep attacks the woman? I was like, oh my god, I never knew sheep could do that. Fucking ruthless. They run in and headbutt people. And if they're headbutting you with a good charge, they can hit you bad, right? Must be because they're part ram, right? Or the female ram or whatever. Fucking headbutting like crazy. Now, if anyone hasn't seen it, you probably shouldn't watch it on YouTube, but unless you have a stomach for it, I think it's called When the Sheep Fight Back. Oh man. You don't want to mess with the sheep. <laughs> Now it was this guy, he was walk, driving his car down the road and he had one of those, what is it, uh, dash cams. And there was a woman that was herding her sheep and she was trying to get them to walk up the road. And all of a sudden the sheep decided to start fighting her. God, what a battle. It wasn't more like a battle, it was more of an ass whooping. The sheep have quite the power. Now as I envy the sheep, we have a lot in common. I was thinking if they ever started to make, well if it was more popular to make clothing out of human hair, I would make an excellent sheep. Despite the hair on the top of my head not coming in very thick, it's actually some growing there. You can't see it on camera, but it's a very thin amount. But no, the rest of my hair comes in thick as a sheep. Well, maybe not as a sheep, but pretty close. And fast. You can see, like, I grow a full beard in a couple weeks. <laughs> I don't know what it's with it. Now one day I ran into this guy from India, what was it, uh, one of the guys with the, uh, is it the turban, yeah, the Sikh guys? So anyways, he was talking to me about beards. He's like, man, he loves my beard. I'm like, oh, thanks, man. He's like, Jesus, how many years did that take you to grow? I'm like, years, I'm like, a couple months. He's like, months? He's like, he's been growing his for like five years and was, wasn't the same length yet. I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> I wish. Alright. Now at that point what I was doing, sometimes I would tie elastics to it to make it grow even faster. Alright, so good merchant. Let's check what he's got. Holy, that's fucking expensive. You deserve to get robbed. No. <laughs> Let's rob the girl with the nice tits. <laughs> She's a little bit more appealing. Holy fuck, we got some bullets. That's all I like to see. Oh yeah, she gives bullets. So that's definitely the one to go for. Alright, let's go treasure box. Treasure! Fuck, you gotta fight it. That's good. Extra points, I think.
I'm trying to remember which hero is it that requires crime fighter as ingredients. Is it a good one? Oh, Baldwin. That's right. When I was going through the Darwin machine, we came across him. Remember I was saying that I had both ingredients and one of them was Crime Fighter. And I just needed two more copies of him. Now I recall. Let's see what's what he's got. Fuck that shit. Rob him. Alright, vampire. That's what I like to see. Boom. It's funny to think back in the day, this vampire used to always give me such a rough time. He would kill one of my heroes almost every time. Alright, we're getting close to the end. We'll have to wrap it up because, geez, we're at an hour 20. Monkle's going to be pissed. It's taken so long for me to move him. Although he has been wanting to be moved later, so. He's becoming a night owl. He used to always wake up early, but now he likes to sleep in much later and stay up later. Which is kind of okay. Kind of works out better for me for work, because then I can work a really early morning shift, come home and make it home in time still before it needs to be carried. So that works out. Hmm. Yeah, it's funny, back in the day, I needed so many copies of Crime Fighter. I was always like, oh, when can I get another crime fighter? That's how this game works, eh? Eventually you'll get them. Just when you don't need them. I can't believe all the news about the cyberpunk game. Did you guys hear they were saying they might issue refunds for some people? Because they're upset about the game not being finished and needing more patches. It's pretty weird. Alright, so we got eight. That was decent. Let's check what we're at. So this 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 is probably holy shit. So next time we fight the pumpkin, we'll be able to beat the pumpkin, get him and add him to the DNA connection. So we'll have a whole bunch of more people or at least one other person with chaos. Let's see, who needs the chaos? I believe I said Tengu does. Yep. So after I get him, I'll make the pumpkin gold, add him to Tengu. So he'll have the pumpkin pet and he'll also have the pumpkin DNA. <laughs> he'll be Mr. Pumpkin Man. Pumpkin City. <laughs> It's funny because his stomach kind of looks like a pumpkin too, right? <laughs> Alright, so let's wrap up the show. I know what I forgot to do. Before we wrap up the show, we got to say a few things to everyone. 
make sure we give a shout out to all the VIPs. Let's give them a shout out. Ray, right, thanks a million to Jim and Ray, who are both helping the show out on Patreon with the, the monthly donation of a dollar a month. So if anyone else wants to help out with a buck a month, I really appreciate it. it may sound ridiculous that it's only a buck a month, but I don't know. For me, I don't make much money, so having anyone contributing anything makes a huge difference. So, All right, so thanks everyone. We really appreciate it, Jim and Ray. And it's neat. To, it makes me feel like a professional, <laughs> if you can imagine that. All right, so let's see. <laughs> Uh, what else did I have for today? Oh yeah, I wanted to just give a shout out to all the viewers in the chat. So I'll do that next. Let's see here. Fucking screen is a mess everywhere. Well, I'll give a viewer, viewer shout out. Let's play one more dungeon battle. Sweep it for gold. Give it a, give it a try. All right, holy shit, tons of viewers today. All right, so we'll start with the first viewer of the show, which was What's Up. Thanks, What's Up. Managed to make it first. Warzar, the board Time Lord, made it second. And then Pepe the Frog made it in with a close third place. Yeah, and he's on vacation till January, so I hope he enjoys the vacation. Sounds like he needs it. <laughs> All right, so anyways, uh... Who else was next? Oh, it's Suki next. Thanks a million for joining the show again, Suki. Fuck, I wish I could have made it to the selfies. I was one character away. Man. Alright, so hopefully that offer still stands as I work my way further towards that goal. Alright, so anyways, um, Raymark, he was also joining the show. Thanks again. He's also the, the patron, I believe. Very similar name. Warzard the Board Time Lord. Thanks again for joining. Or did I already say you? Yes, I did. You're getting a second shout out. We'll do another battle, because man, we still got a few people to read here. Great, so that was Warzard. What's up? Oh, Captu, Jeshua, Vector, Player XD. Um, who else? Yep, Player XD. He gets the, the title for finishing last. Finishing quick is my specialty. He wins finishing last. Damn you! <laughs> Just kidding. Congratulations. <laughs> I had seven likes. Holy shit. Thanks, everyone. Appreciate everyone managing to remember to give the show a like. Sometimes I forget to remind everyone. Okay, so what else was there to do? Let's wrap up the affiliate links. I'm getting my ass kicked in this battle, so we'll just wrap it up. See ya, Jane Austen. <laughs> Alright, so if you want to help out, you can do it with Patreon. We've seen that already. Society6, finishing quick is my specialty, is on t-shirts and bed sheets, both pop to the ladies. Hydro TV will pay you to watch videos. Schwags Bucks will pay you to shop online. Game Kit will pay you to be a gamer. Free Bitcoin is those spins we did earlier. And that Wheel Fortune game that they added now. That thing kicks ass. Alright, so the virtual made sex machine is for adults and men only, but if ladies need a sex machine, they know who to call. But, if you want to see the product here, no, I'm just kidding, unless you're in Toronto. <laughs> or if the lockdown ever ends in our lifetime. No, but here's the virtual made sex machine. You can order it, it's real. Crowdfunded, lockdown, lockdown, very high demand product, I'm assuming. <laughs> Especially in who knows how long these lockdowns are going to go and if they're even going to get worse. So you probably might want to get your hands on one, no pun intended, before they run out. <laughs> Alright, Show More is in the YouTube description. Judson Weebly is in there. And Show More, if you click that in the YouTube description thingy, it will bring you to all these links. And I have started to add new thumbnails and add the, the videos at the end again. So that's sweet. All right, if you happen to get any of that orange crystal in your vaporizer and it tastes like shit from the dungeon, then give the show a dislike. 
if it doesn't happen, you can give the show a like. I really appreciate it. And just make sure you never buy the products from my sponsor because it will ruin your life. Bye for now, everyone. See you later. Take care. So hopefully we get tons of snow. Maybe I'll be shoveling again tomorrow. Show might be a little late. See ya. Thanks for watching, everyone.